Okay, it's uh, Saturday night, almost midnight, right around midnight. My son and I are bored, we're awake, and we're hungry. So it's a Taco Bell run. <laughs> Taking the Hondas. He's gonna ride the PCX 150, I'm gonna ride the new uh, Cub here. Put that key fob away so it doesn't end up on the road. All right, I have no way to bring anything home on this because I don't have a backpack. And he's got a top box and under seat storage, so he's gonna be the uh, breadwinner if we decide to bring anything home. We might just eat there. You ready? All right, let's hit it. Hey, I need first gear, not neutral. Oh, it's chilly tonight. Headlight's pretty good on this thing. That's what I was wanting to check, really. It's give me an excuse to go out. And that's low beam. Yeah, high beam works. I don't think it's quite as bright as the PCX's uh, headlight. Well, the high beam on this reaches out pretty far. It's just not a lot of coverage. Uh, I wonder how many thousand times I'm gonna reach for uh, fifth gear in this thing. I did it a bunch of times on the way home. Ooh, yeah, there's no wind protection at all on this thing. Well, for the legs there is, I guess, with the leg shield, but not, uh, not for the upper body. I'm gonna angle the camera down a little and see if I can get some of the dash in the road. <laughs> Teeth are chattering already, man. It is chilly. Yeah, it seems like the foot placement is a little strange on it, even for the right side because of the uh, oil spinner case or whatever it is over here on the right. Okay, you should, I'm sure. It's just odd. I'm having trouble figuring out where I want to put my feet. Yeah, you're sitting very much on top of this thing. It's not a, you're not sitting in it as much as you are on, you know, PCXs and stuff like that. Yep, you watch your ankle, it's gonna get wet. The handlebars are very narrow on this thing too. There, it's, the whole thing is just narrow, narrow. It's much narrower than the PCX by comparison. Yeah, exactly. That and uh, it's, it feels like riding a motorized bicycle, which is pretty much what it is. Another little observation is it feels like you're going faster than you are because I feel like I'm going 45 plus and I look down and I'm only going 35. So it makes it feel like you're going faster than you really are which I guess it's good to keep you out of trouble, unless traffic is trying to run you over. You know, showing up at Taco Bell in the middle of the night, everybody's immediately gonna assume we're stoned. I said we go in.
I keep looking for a side stand. There is no side stand. I'm gonna have to see if I can get one for it. But that's annoying. Okay then. Turn her off. And it does have a column lock. Look, you can rotate the thing all the way back. Cool. All right. The Cubs' first food run. One of many. Oh, look at that. Auto arms when you walk away. Or after a certain amount of time, I suppose. Well, strike that. They're drive through only. We can't go in. So we're going to drive through. And he's just going to put it on his bike, I guess. And his uh, Bluetooth died, so it's all right. Ooh, it's chilly tonight. I got this thing zipped all the way up, too. Man, I can't believe I'm feeling cold. That's cool. Oh, it knows I'm here. No key needed. I just twist and go. Cool. Okay, off the center stand. All right, well, I guess we'll just pull up in tandem in the uh, drive-thru over there, and I'll order, and... You're going to have to, uh, see, I keep thinking it's a scooter. I rev and the gear's not there. <laughs> That's funny right there. Nobody's coming. Good. All right. That's twice I've done that. Yeah. I'll order it. Uh, Let's throw it in the back of here and we'll go home. So we're not going to sit outside to eat. It's too freaking cold. Do you know what you want? I'm just going to get two or three Taco Supremes and a beef Mexi melt. We can't get drinks. We can't get drinks, so it's just, you no know, meals, no combos. No cup holders yet. <laughs> Get the beer hat, mount them on the sides of the helmet, and run a straw in. Uh, I think that's it. I have a Okay, thanks. I like the display on this thing. It looks good. Yeah, I like the, the two layer. You got the digital in the middle that's up close, and then you got a recessed uh, analog uh, speedo. That's pretty cool. 80 miles an hour? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if it's dropped off a cliff and reaches terminal velocity, <laughs> I don't think it's ever getting there. <laughs> You'd have to put it in neutral. Uh, I don't even think the engine would let it spin that fast. I wonder if it'll let you start it in gear. I doubt it. We're gonna find out. Nope, nope, trying it. Doesn't let you start in gear. So you couldn't have start stop on this like you do on the PCX. It's gotta be in neutral before it'll let you start. Your uh, little CRF 110 was the same way. And I never realized that until the day we sold it. Uh, when we were, when I was taking Hope around the yard, um, it was in gear and I was trying to start it and it wouldn't start. And that's when I realized it must have a, a neutral indicator, but there was just no light to let us know. But if it's in gear, it wouldn't let you start. I gotta take my glove off to get my wallet out. There's nowhere to put anything on this. Even with that, you can throw the, the gloves up in the dash area, but this one, they're just gonna fall off. I have to figure that out. Give me some little pouch or some kind of storage hooks or something around here. Yeah, I'm sure the aftermarket's going to come up with all kinds of goodies for it.
I gotta put my glove on. I'm gonna put my glove on. Okay. Come on, horsies, run. Let the squirrels out to play. Oh, man, it's chilly tonight. Oh, zip that jacket up. Oh, zip it. This thing really does have a a sensation of going much faster than you are. I'm only going like 38. I feel like I'm going 45 plus. The PCXs are just the opposite. They make you feel slower than you are. Probably the uh, little stubby windscreen will help with that because you don't have the wind blast on the chest and in the face as much. A little headlight does all right on this. I'm very impressed with the ride. It uh, soaks up the bumps pretty well for having such limited suspension throw. I think it's only three inches of travel or something like that, which is about the same as the PCX's, but the PCX factory suspension was much harsher. Uh, I've upgraded the suspension on both of mine, uh, so I'm not dealing with the factory stuff anymore, but maybe it's just the bigger wheels on this that smooth it out. I don't know. Yeah, I just, I can't get my feet comfortable on this thing. The right one's not too bad. Uh, it's just a little narrow because of where the, uh, whatever it is on the transmission case is sticking out. I don't know if that's the oil spinner area or if that's the centrifugal clutch part of it. But um, then the left foot, that heel shifter is right in the way of the heel. Uh, you can't rest your foot down or you're resting on it. And it causes the clutch to slip. So that's going to go. I'm going to put on a little uh, standard shift lever, I guess. In fact, I think I still have one from my son's uh, CRF 110. We pulled off the factory one and put on a uh, BBR folding shift lever. And I'll just swap that OEM lever onto this one. Burn along, 35 miles an hour. Feels like I'm going faster. The mirrors are also pretty much useless on this. Uh, you can adjust them to be looking out past you, but you're still only looking at your elbows. So uh, I'll put some mirror wideners on here, step them out about an inch or two. I assume they made them so narrow so they would fit within the same width of the handlebars. Um, it'll be good for lane splitting and stuff in busy cities, but get a great view of your elbows. And I really doubt that it's going to notice us. I don't think we're big enough to trip this thing, so we're going to find out. We'll give her about to the count of ten and fake it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, no cars. I am forever going to be reaching for a fifth gear.
No heavy traffic this time of night. Whoop, missed that shift. I don't normally ride with tennis shoes, but I've got very thin, uh, uh, what are they, There's some walker type shoes on right now. And the shift bar on the top of the big toe feels funny. cold, making my eyes water. I'm playing with the uh, different options on how to release the shift lever every shift. It seems like if you let it down smoothly, it also helps the clutch re-engagement. Uh, a little tricky to do though, because there's not much engagement throw on that lever. 